I 1v1 10 of the best Nightmare Rank players in Bed Wars. Here's what I learned. So we're gonna be 1v1ing these players in three ways. Raw PvP, which is swords, bro, and then bow PvP, which is, yeah, whoever has the most aimbot, and then late game PvP, which is a combination of the two. And uh, yeah, the first one. I cringed, to say the least, at. I, it, was, it, it was rough watching this first 1v1, I must say. Yeah, I need to master my combos for this. Okay, should I start jumping? Okay, it doesn't matter if I'm jumping or not. This guy's comboing me. Oh my. Okay, now it's time for the bow PvP. Oh my goodness, this guy. Oh my, okay. This guy may be good, but I'm better, bro. Future Sam here, I I, I was not. <laughs> Can't let bro, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Okay, okay. I gotta lock in, bro, no. But now I know I can beat bro in late game. Oh my gosh. Okay, am I sure? Am I sure I can beat bro in late game? <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, bro. Bro is 100 HP and I just got completely smacked. Yeah, after the first PvP fight, I was like, bro, I suck. But uh, it's crazy to see how things start to change. We may have taken an L in that one, but it's time to put that behind us and move on to the second PvP. We're going to be 1v1ing Slink Hits, leaderboard rank number 153. Let's start with some raw PvP. Oh my goodness. Yo, 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 yo. We basically... How is this guy so good? At... All right. All right. I, I'm about to install an auto clicker, bro. No, 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 please. Yo, yo. He's so nervous, bro. He's so nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, this kid has an aimbot. I, right, I got lock in. Oh, come on, come on. This. Let's go! We actually won! So that may have been our first victory, but you gotta look at the late game PvP. First thing! First thing that went wrong! I had no idea how to actually use my telepearls correctly. So make sure you don't uh, spam telepearls. Check this amazing fireball play by me. I completely missed the mark by like 12 inches. There's about like a 5 inch gap between my fireball and the actual opponent, bro. I, I sucked at late game still. Even though I won this, there's still so much to be improved. We finally got the- We finally got a sniff of actually what it feels like of winning a game against a Nightmare Ring player. But uh, yeah, we ended up getting humble after this. <laughs> I'm winning this, I'm winning this. Oh. <laughs> bro! Oh, dang bro, he's good, man. Oh no, we're getting comboed. Oh man. Dude, holy crap. Rex don't got aim like that. Rex can't combo. Rex can't combo. Oh my god. Oh my okay, okay. I got better aim than Rex. I know I do. Yep, headshot. I'm hitting okay, I guess I'm hitting his freaking toes right now. What is Oh man, he's up. Man! No no no! No no no! <laughs> After getting bullied for genuinely those three 1v1s, I had to change or else I was just gonna completely throw this video out. I didn't want to make a video of me just losing for, you know, seven rounds straight. So it's time we change. It's time we adapt and it's time we overcome those L's and move forward to more wins. We're gonna be 1v1ing Give Huges for win. This guy is leaderboard rank number 33. Yo, I'm winning this. <laughs> He's hitting me for so much. Ooh. But I'm hitting him for more. Yo, 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 chill, bro. Bro, just hit me with the sword. He's gonna pay for that now. He's getting outplayed. Let's go! By one HP, I just won! At this point, I was so tired of being a loser. I was doing whatever it takes to adapt and overcome my L's. Like, I was leaderboard ranked number 30, and we just won against him. And the only reason we won that is because we were smart with actually using fireballs. And one thing that I noticed is when you're in PvP, you're going to want to make sure your crosshair is always on this guy. It's crazy that you can see the progression from the first 1v1. This is only the sixth. Just imagine when we get to the 10th 1v1. But one thing I'm noticing is I'm starting to play a lot more faster and use my crossbow to my advantage. But also, I'm not going to be scared. You just got to hop in and use the sword, bro. They may be nightmare rank, but you just got to play your game, man. And, uh, and play my game, I did. So for our hardest challenge yet, we're gonna be 1v1ing real C mode. The literally leaderboard rank number one. Oh. 
There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> He's nervous, bro. He's so nervous, bro. <laughs> Let's go, bro. That was the best player. There's no way. Oh, that was close, man. There's no way. Dang, he's good. Even though in the grand scheme of that 1v1, I may have lost, I learned so much in that process just by winning that one late game PvP against the number one ranked player at the time. So when people throw a telepearl, you can kind of predict exactly where they're gonna be. So all you have to do is just line up a crossbow shot and you can hit so much damage on them. Also, another thing that I'm realizing is if you're gonna face the number one ranked player, bro, there's no way playing like a regular player is gonna win. Do you really think playing like a regular player is gonna beat the best player? No, they're the best for a reason so you have to literally start thinking outside of the box that fireball play where i hit him through the wall bro these number one ranked players are so used to playing a certain play styles when you play like genuinely you have no iq whatsoever sometimes it actually pays off so don't be afraid to be creative and play your game don't play theirs because if you play theirs you're just gonna lose bro now let's 1v1 pluto leaderboard ranked number 56 Oh my gosh, how is he, how am I letting a bro heal? Let's go. GG. Oh my gosh, I thought I got him low enough. <laughs> now when I tell you about this man can run, bro. One thing that I really realized in this fight is there's no point in trying to chase somebody down and use all your freaking resources if they're only like half HP or something. It's best to just be calm, be collected, and remember, bro, you're gonna fight them eventually, you know? They spend so many resources trying to fight you. You're gonna be above, and then you're gonna win eventually. So just be smart, bro. On to the next 1v1, bro. It's crazy we're learning so much. Now, let's 1v1 ish. No, leaderboard rank number 36. I'm piecing him, GG. Oh, he's good. Ah, oh, dang, man. He's good at a bow. Let's go. The main thing I learned in this fight is, so when most people like PvP, they just like click head on. What you can do is when you're click, you start like jittering. So weirdly enough, that hits them more. Like check this out. So make sure your crosshair is on him. But if you start like jittering, you can hit them even more instead of just going head on like that. It's pretty interesting. It's crazy. We've 1v1 nine players so far. We're on to our last and final one. We got to win this one, bro. <sighs> All right. Bro, I'm, I'm getting nervous. What the? I just gotta play my game, bro. This guy is not that good. I just gotta play my game. Combo, 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 combo. Combo, combo, combo. And with that final fight, we managed to pull off five wins and five losses. That was actually a really good record. But honestly, bro, the record doesn't matter. It's the fact that we learned so much in the process of getting, you know, actually bullied by Nightmare Rank players. We become such a better player. And I hope maybe one of those tips can help you in your Bed Wars journey. Feel free to go check this video out if you want to learn some more skills with me and subscribe. But only if you actually enjoyed this video, bro. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.